Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here today. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean's in the building. Right, he is right. the third man in the octagon right. tonight. Right. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Just misses with the jab there. That's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. There's the kick. It's blocked. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Back and forth we go. Keep the pressure on, everything's landing. Dig and kick. Hands higher, hands higher. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Oh, a big head kick there. That's an educated right hand, and man, he didn't miss there. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Nice jab there. Relax, relax. Keep your head oh! Back. Massive kick to the head. Another head kick. Goes up so fast. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Inside leg kick. Oh. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Past the two-minute mark in round one. 
Single collar tie now. Good stick. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, and now that's a kick to the body. Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight, and there it is again. Nicely done as he kicks the thigh, and some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line that he's playing catch up. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Dude getting active, lands another combination to the head. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Useful hook there. 20 seconds to go. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Wow, huge head kick. Start. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Is every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring and then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Ready. Ready. Go. Second round here. Our right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here to try to stop this fight. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list it... Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Lee gets stunned there by that stiff jab. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Three minutes to go in round two. Barely missed on an upper cut right here on the inside. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Let's get with those hands. Now his opponent in a world of 
Dimitrov. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Two minutes to go. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Beautiful kick lands there. Back and forth we go. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Lee's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Lee. Final seconds here. Two. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, the cut man has got his work cut out for him, and I believe we have isolated the shot that caused that critical cut above the eye. I mean, right above the eye, John. Too many damage and blows. He's got to change something because now every time he gets hit above the eye, the blood will start to leak in his eye, making it almost impossible to fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Third Go. round underway. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Punch got blocked there. That punch, no good. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Quick jab lands there. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Well, that strike landed cleanly. This fight's gonna be over, Lisa. 
what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Got him hurting here. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with this beautiful leg kick. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Well, most of you remember exactly when the... Oh, 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 oh. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! All right, so the ref is going to step in here and call on the doctor to look at what is a now mangled nose. This could be the end of the fight. It could be the end of the fight. There's a lot of blood. The blood's going down into the mouth. I mean, the nose could be broken. Crowd getting a little bit restless. Doctor has to tune out that noise, but at least for now, they will allow him to fight on. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys compete. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop because of a cut. I want to see the best over the game. Push kick there to the body. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. They're so evenly matched, they're going tit for tat. Oh, man. That cut is just bleeding like crazy. I would oh, the big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fit. Big uppercut. Oh! Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh! Back to the feet now. Under a minute now to go. Oh, he's in real trouble now. Right to the knee on belly. This is her oh, Holy smokes. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 17 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly thus far, few men have succeeded 